Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Try Tear to the Shattering. So, uh, in the previous episode we managed to get helpful enough food and wood for our expedition to uh, this Elven Island. I actually not sure if this is the Elven Island, but I guess the only one with forest has to be the one with elves. And uh, today we will try to find a good location for our village. We have, uh, what, like, uh, let's say 20 terrains worth of fuel and 20 terrains worth of food. So in 20 terrains, probably less than 20 terrains, right? We, we have to, uh, like, settle before we run out because uh, we'll need some time to gather new food and wood. So let's say we have 17, let's say 17 terrains to start the village. Hopefully we find uh, a decent location before we run out of resources. Uh, is there anything that we want to do this? Well, actually, you can't do anything this turn. Oh, and there's one thing I realized as I was looking on the map before I started recording. It would be great if they added the option to just zoom out to the game. Zoom in, zoom out. Because this, I can't... Or if I want to have a look around, I just have to like scroll around. And uh, sometimes then, when you get a bit farther away, uh, finding your group uh, might be a pain in the ass. I know that there is a minimap now, but it would be great if you could zoom out a little bit. So if someone is like communicating with the devs on forums, maybe suggesting that would be a good idea. But, well, let's um, get to the game. I don't have that much time today. I'm expecting visitors, so this could be a shorter episode. Um... Let's end the turn and uh, we will just uh, use the boat to sail around the island because the boat has six movement. So I'll be able to explore faster that way. And during the day, we still have quite a few turns before the night, uh, we can see like two or three tiles in land. So that uh, will have to be enough. Okay, there is a fish. That's what we are looking for. There's another fish, so this would be a decent tile if there was something back here. But there would have to be like wood and tier 2 resource, which is quite unlikely. We'll just keep going. Oh, now we can see quite far away. Okay, so nothing here. And this looks like Elven, this has to be Elven Village. Problem is, if it's the same as in Thea 1, uh, we can't just go there and talk to them and they won't be friendly. We have to like convince them that we are worthy of their friendship and uh, that's quite difficult. So I'll just probably ignore them for now. Uh, don't not waste any time. And once we are settled, and hopefully we'll be able to settle in the like reasonable distance from their village then we can maybe pay them a visit and find out what exactly we have to do to earn their earn their friendship. Another fish, but again, there is nothing else in range. Oh, okay, we can skip this, get some experience, and uh, more level ups. This is not bad. Uh, which one is this? That's the that's the smart one. Definitely don't want flying daggers. I think we want to get the gathering to almost everyone. Now the flat gathering is actually quite valuable. Because it makes gathering tools a lot more effective. So I don't mind investing in the gathering a little bit. Uh, as for the other option. Uh, smart, wise, high perception. Strength and... I'm thinking uh, showing off is a little bit more effective, but we all have uh, Jerkas to handle these events, the yellow ones. Yeah, this is only for uh, yellow events, right? So might be better to get the Brute Force, even though we don't exactly have the stats for it, but at least we'll have something for every type of challenge right now that could be useful. Overall, I don't like Brute Force. It's just too slow but in this case it's probably the better option uh, okay topaz with nothing else actually no there is leather uh, but 
still nothing to eat. There is something to eat now. So village here, maybe here, here. All of those are options. If there was wood. I mean, we can start the village without wood. It's just then it's a pain in the ass because you have to regularly send people out to get some. Uh, that's spicy. So that's two sources of food already. Uh, the thing is, the important thing is, these are just tier 1 and tier 2 materials. They're, the only reason why we are trying this start is to start our village next to a tier 3 resource. Uh, starting next to tier 1 and tier 2, we could have stayed on the first island, right? So I'll just keep going. There is... Uh, um, Ruin more fish. Well, at least we are getting the food. Um, let's check the other side. Uh, there are some forests here. Maybe let's go this way first, just in case there is some wood. And then, how does it look like on the mini map? I'm not sure if we can pass here. Yeah, we can check this side probably. Next, how much food do we have? So like 12 more days, let's say. Oh, hey, that is wood. And that's a tier three wood. And that is food. So if we start, let's say, not here, that's too far. We can start right here or even here. And that will be in range of the fish and of the wood. Or we just get a lot more. So... Huh. This tile has double fish, double ancient wood, and something. I think we just found our village. I mean... We just won't get a better uh, location, right? Can get one more tile here. Oh, hey, there is uh, Malachite now. So, one, two. Yeah, this is also in range. Holy moly. You have arrived on the fabled ancient forest island, so it's ancient forest biome. It is said that this land emerged from hiding when the earth shattered, much like the cities of the dwarves. Much of the woodland here has been destroyed, but what remains is no less breathtaking. These lands are home to the elder races, both woodland kin and forest, oh, forest demons as well, okay. Stand as guardians of the evergreen woodland, hoping to one day regrow what was lost. Creatures of the forest are fiercely territorial, so one should remain on guard. Great, that's exactly what we don't need right now. Ancient wood and exotic spices can both be found here. Okay. That is the ancient wood and spices. Some... Research points, experience. That's gonna be the most important thing now. Research points, because we have to uh, research ancient wood as quickly as possible. Mm, before we basically run out of normal wood. And um, that's quite a few research points that we have to get to get the ancient wood. Let's see. Um, what is it that I wanted? Well, first of all, I wanted to move. That's one thing. So this is the location, right? So may as well set up the camp already. Uh, this is what I wanted. Make sure we are not burning the ancient wood. Okay, crafting. Mm. Let me check something. This is not possible, but I'm just curious. What would we get? I'm checking if we get a uh, plus two gathering range from ancient wood idol but we don't it needs even better resource uh what's the other one crystal wood no it's sacred wood stone sacred sacred wood is the tier four wood this gives the extra gathering range uh 
Because at some point I'll probably rebuild the idol into something better than normal wood. I'm just checking what type of material we need to really make a difference. Um, it's actually 20, I thought it was 18. Oh, this is so bad. But we don't have a choice. This to be the most basic idol. 130. At least you can build it quickly. We have horrible, horrible crafters. 40 cents, 3 turns. And meanwhile, I don't think we can actually gather anything. We can start researching the artifact. That's all that we can do. Or we can maybe make some food. No, we can't. We don't have fish anymore? Oh, it seems that we don't have fish. Okay, well, let's just start working on that. Um, the, the third resource. Uh, is there anything else that we want to do? How long until our children grow up? Uh, here. Eight. Come on. Eleven. And two. Which one is this? That's the smart one. Be great if we get an early Sherka. Okay, next. Um, what is this? Old cave. It's just about a first, but they pretty good more feel. I think we can do this one. Yeah, that's uh, uh, the one where Mammon offers us riches in exchange for one of our people, but we refuse, but get some experience. If I left right away, I don't think we would get any experience, but if I leave here, I think we do get something. Okay, good. Um, what is this? This is a spawner. No, don't care about this in a spawner. More gathering. That's another advancement point. But the problem is. We need one, two, three, four, five advancement points. Hmm. I'll just finish the idol. So, what did we get? So our smart girl didn't get the options that we needed. Great. Why am I stacking up int when then I get options to be a bandit or a warrior? Ah, I know it's not like guaranteed that when you stack up one of the stats on the child that it gets the chance to get like the appropriate uh, class, but it should increase the chance. So we just got quite unlucky. Uh, I think if I try a bandit, we're just gonna fail. I'm not sure that I want to try a warrior. Well, I don't want to try anything but Jerka, honestly, or a healer. Um, could try maybe a crafter. Problem is, we need people who are actually good at at least some types of challenges. Um, although I may go for the crafter anyway. Crafters usually are quite smart, so we could... Or she could work in the in the yellow challenges for a while until we get someone better. Yeah, let's just go go for a crafter. This should be guaranteed. Uh, this option, uh, I don't think we care about uh, 
like scavengers or demons or the kind of stuff you usually want to get that later you'd fail as the bandit end up as a as a scavenger same with the warrior now let's just go with the with the crafter not what i wanted but well i think it's the best option right now from the from the choices that we got um Oh, does it matter? It'll be done in one turn anyway. But actually this way I can use just one person to finish the job. And speed up this process. Although, wait. No, that's horrible. But it's the only thing that uh, we can do right, at least for this turn. That's another reason why I wanted Jerka early, to have someone who can effectively research. Okay, next. There we go, now we have our village. And with that we have uh, our demon now available. So let's uh, redo everything um, here. I think Bojidar. I think we still want someone to research because we need to get the advancement point so we can start gathering the ancient wood. Uh, then we need food. So we gotta do that this way. And we want to research the artifact as quickly as possible. It's four turns, three turns. Let's actually get it faster in case it's something. Uh, really interesting. I want to know that uh, as soon as possible. We have food for now, so we don't have to get the fish every turn. Fine. Okay, so that's... Um, you get this every time and you start the village that's talking about the house demon. More experience. I guess more gathering. So does everyone has gathering now? Oh, what is rain? Visibility and movement points. Okay, I don't care about that. Next. There is the fish and one more turn, then we should Oh, hey, mythical leather, nice. So we have two tier three resources around our village. I should probably save the game now. Uh, test three. Just in case some, something goes horribly wrong that we can return to this point. So the mythical leather is gonna take forever to research. Uh, but it's nice to have two tier 3 materials available that we can, like, count on. Uh, the problem is that they are on the opposite sides. So, we can't, like, combine them. For example, if there was diamonds instead of uh, mythical leather, we could combine diamonds with ancient wood to get crystal wood. And then combine like the crystal wood with sacred wood to get life root. Because these are opposite, we can't combine them. That would be so, so strong having uh, the neighboring tier 3 resources right next to your village. Damn. I guess the chance, chances of that are really, really low. Still, we can rely on that mythical leather then later to get um, 
some although wait i wanted to say to get some armor but uh, we can use wood for armor as well i don't think that the leather is like the ideal combination for wood yeah the oh, diamonds would be so good even bones would be probably better Might as well just research these. And now we want, or want to wait, we need two more points. How can we speed up the process? Can we craft anything? Do we have materials? No. Oh, uh, I should probably make sure we are not burning any of these. start cooking again at least for a while wait 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 uh, let me check the research Twenty thirty. How long? Oh, 12 turns. But well, in twelve turns, this is basically one like almost two points at this point. Like like in twelve turns. So I think this is definitely worth it. And uh, food wise, we should be fine. We are getting now a stack every turn. Yeah, so now we just have to wait 12 turns, then we get the points um, to research the ancient wood. Then we should be set up, then we just need to get the wood as soon as possible. Uh, I mean, get it, like, gather some of it. And, uh, well, we'll need gathering tools quickly. And then we need to research... Well, both armor and weapons. We'll need medium armor. Let me check that. Oh, without points, I won't be able to see anything. Hmm. Because we are so, like, defenseless right now. We need at least 20 more turns before we can defend ourselves somewhat. And I don't really know what to expect uh, from this island, what can ambush us. There is another child going up. Uh, this could be a healer, but again, we didn't get the chance to get Sherka. This is the strong one, though. We want to make this one a warrior. The last one that's gonna be the, uh, the, come on, words, the hunter. So we would end up with a warrior and the hunter? No, that's bad. Okay, let's, let's try the healer. Not exactly what I planned, but since the first one didn't become a jerk, I have to improvise a little bit. Please don't fail. Great. Now let's check what gear we have access to and how long is this gonna take once again? Should be any turn, four more turns. So she will have the crossbow. This one. Uh, let's see. And is 
So actually the crafter is the wise one. So the crafter gets the bone artifact. And the amber robes. No, wait, the amber robes is only physical shielding. Um... I guess our healer will end up with the physical gear for now. And the gather will get the Ember Wand. It's the best we can do. Okay, next. Be just hitting end turn for a while until we get uh, the ancient wood. Uh, let me see. Actually, two more turns. What is this? Uh, crafting is fast. The enemies are as aggressive as during the night. Okay. But there are no enemies. Enemies around. At least not for now. One more turn. I'm waiting for the last child to grow up. Yeah. Uh, please don't fail. Good. And what the hell is this? This character is beautiful. Does that mean more babies? It should. For some reason, she is also pretty smart. Is there finally the description what the... Oh, we have attractive uh, male and beautiful and attractive female. Ah, uh, that should be babies every turn. And the chosen... Uh, yeah, that's the character that we named. Now, there is still no description what the exact effect is, right? I was hoping that there will be like more details. I don't know, 30% extra chance to get the... Baby every turn or something like that. How are we doing on the research now? Uh, research. Six more turns. Let's take everyone. We don't have uh, food anymore, so we don't have to cook. Okay. Our hunter is actually our best researcher, wow. Four turns, that's the best we can do. That's not that bad. And we can still get a fish every turn. How much wood do we have? Nine. And we still have the other wood types that we can burn. Worst case scenario, of course. Uh, I don't like this. Uh, yeah. Don't think that we have anyone who can really handle uh, the spiritual challenge. Which classes do we have? I think it may have a best chance here because we have a healer and we have a crafter. If we had a warrior, I'd probably go for a physical challenge. Now let's let's try this one. Though it should be like difficulty three, right? Compared to just two for the spiritual one. I think we are better equipped to handle this one. Probably not gonna happen. The numbers are just too low. Well, let's check our options that we have. That's one attack. Uh, there is the 
poisonous one, but it's not that much damage. And here we also have just one attack. So it's uh, our demon who is the strongest. I'll have to use our hit points to spread out the damage as much as possible and hope that we just somehow survive. It's not that much damage. Oh, these are different cards. Damn. How many points do we still get? That's two and two more. So I used both these two. Then do I have ranged attacks somewhere? Or how many ranged attacks do I have? My best option here. Just to get as many people as possible on board. Yeah, this is what I expected. We won't be able to get the, to these two cards on this turn. Now. I think this is the best we can do and just use all the hit points that we have to soak up the damage, spread the damage as much as possible. Are they gonna play one more card? Nope. This is not too bad, it's not that much damage. I mean, if this was a challenge where the damage would stick, uh, we would be in trouble, but... Uh... This doesn't look too bad. Wow, that sucks that we didn't get the kill there. Okay, that should be a kill. Yeah, I think we got this. Okay, fine. We're gonna lose one character, but the damage, as I said, it doesn't stick, so... We are fine. You're gonna need uh, one more like phase to finish off the last card. Come on. Five Mithril. Well, that sucks. Because just five Mithril, we can't do anything with that. Just not enough for any crowd. I was hoping that if we get real lucky, we get the Ancient Wood. And uh, that would allow us to probably craft a little bit earlier. But it should be decent experience. Research points are important. Uh, how are we doing on the research? Two more turns. Come on, people. Mm, still nothing. There's a level up for Bojidar now. Let's check his numbers. I don't really want him to be strong. I'd much rather him to have high perception because Ghostly is such a strong ability. So I think that's what I'm gonna grab. This is also, uh, or this will also give us um, an option to go for the uh, spiritual challenges. Uh, 
But how the hell is it possible? No, we are still not done with the research. We are missing 11 points. We probably lost the blessing and it wasn't enough. Okay. Give me my ancient wood. And now we'll find out how many points do we need to gather that thing. 500. That's a lot. And we get what? We get 9. We have wood for five turns. That's the problem. We all have to burn ancient wood at some point. Most likely. You know what? Um, where is it? I'll just burn. <laughs> I'd rather burn any of these than burn the, the ancient one, of course. Yeah, I'll just allow us to burn all these types. Just not the ancient wood. Hopefully, by the time we run out of all these types of wood, we'll already be able to go exploring a little bit. Maybe just like find some resources, find some items, dismantle them to get more normal wood. Then it should be fine. Just the start. Okay. So what's the next step? Get the wood. Uh, let me check. We have 15 at this point. So crafting. Uh, how much are we missing? We are missing. Oh, can we use? Let me just do it this way for the first crafting tool. 2.200. Wow, look how strong that thing is. 4.4 uh, rituals increase by 131. We don't really care about rituals. How about this one? This one is not bad. 3.224%. We probably want some of these later for the people who are going to be going on expedition. That increased personal carry limit. Um, for especially strong people will be a meaningful difference and the flood 3.2 is nice it's actually even more than here but actually this thing is pretty good hmm. well for our gatherer we definitely want this one the higher gathering skill the character has the better this one becomes It's also going to be decent for children, both these two. Okay, so in two turns we can start working on the first one. Problem is, it will take forever to make. Uh, let me check one more thing before we make a cut. How high is the crafting skill? So if you use three people for this, then we can get to what? 156 to 300. So it's gonna take three turns to make. If we go all in, it's not too bad. You're gonna need five turns to get the first one. And then we have to start thinking about armor. When can we use. We got need two points. Then we can use wood for armor. But ancient wood armor is going to be pretty nice. And weapons. Where are two handers? No, this is one hander. Uh, two hander. Oh, that's, that's not good enough. We need a weapon that can use uh, wood right away. I don't want to invest too many points. Wait, we will. We have a hunter, right? So maybe it's better here. Bow. Yeah, we'll get ancient wood bow. Or the other option. 
javelins can't use wood. This would be ideal, like wood, wood. And as for our casters, hmm, wood. But we can get gems. So we can go for uh, ancient wood, jade, codexes. What about scrolls? And wands? No, we don't want wands. We would have to go all the way to get wood and wands. But wands are, are interesting. Hmm. What do you think, guys? What would you prioritize? Um, it's the medium armors, right? It's uh, like a no-brainer. They can use wood right away. That's where we start. But then for the weapons, that's actually a good question. Hmm. Yeah, I'll think about this off camera. And also, if you have any ideas like um, what would be the best option with the materials that we have available. And remember, it's gonna take forever to get the mythical leather, so we can't really count on that uh, for a long time. But uh, we we have, let's say, the malachite, not jade, malachite available and ancient wood. So with those materials, which uh, uh, which items you'd go after? So I'll be looking forward to your comments. This episode is over. It went much better than I expected. We didn't get basically into any trouble. Uh, managed to get everything that we wanted to. We are set up now. Now we just need next, let's say 15, maybe 20 more turns to get some of these like ancient wood items. And I think we should be in pretty good shape. And so far, so good. Um, also, I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you can join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.